Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. Today we're taking a look at the Coast HX5 single AA flashlight. Now a while back, I had made a couple of videos about the Stealth Angel two-person survival pack or bug out bag. And one of the things included in it was a very, very generic made in China single AA flashlight. And when I say generic, if you are a flashlight collector or enthusiast and you saw it, you knew exactly what it was. A very generic, cheap piece of junk, numerous brand names. I mean, just absolutely horrible in terms of overall quality. And Stealth Angel was nice enough to toss in that flashlight without a battery. Yeah, so thanks for the uh, cheap piece of junk and no battery. So I did mention in one of the videos that I did regarding the Stealth Angel two-person pack that I would be replacing that cheap, generic, made-in-China piece of junk, single AA flashlight with a better quality one. But I didn't want to spend a ton of money. So I did some research, and yeah, this was a while back, and I found the Coast HX5 single AA flashlight. Here's the box, and from a distance, it looks like a good box. Up close, though, it is, yeah, it's bulky, doesn't really look good, and a massive waste of cardboard, if I'm being honest. It doesn't even open up from the front. It actually opens up from the side. Mm-hmm. And inside is more cardboard, thick cardboard. And what's included? Well, you get the flashlight. You get a silica gel packet that obviously you're supposed to throw out. You get instructions. And you get a AA battery. Yes, Batteries included, or I should say battery included. But you know what? Yeah, credit where it's due. A lot of companies out there will still ship AA or AAA flashlights that are relatively inexpensive without the damn battery. And sometimes you have brands that will provide pre-made bug out or survival packs and they'll toss in the flashlight. Uh, yeah, no battery. Looking at you, Stealth Angel. Come on. But yeah, credit to Coast for including a battery inside the box. And the way they do it is really nice because it's not inside the flashlight. It's placed separately, standing up, away from the flashlight. So if this box is sitting on a store shelf for maybe a couple of years and the battery leaks, it's not going to damage the light. So credit where it's due. Nice job with that coast. Although, yeah, way too much cardboard on the box. All right, let's stop looking at the box and take a look at the flashlight. And here it is. Overall, it is smaller in thickness than the cheap, generic piece of crap 
provided by Stealth Angel. And we're going to start on this end. It is LED and it does have zoom technology, meaning when the bezel is pushed up against the body or barrel of the light, you get a very wide flood, but it's not too impressive. It's not. Maybe in a totally dark room it would be, but even in a slightly lit up room, it's not that impressive. It is pretty wide though. It is pretty wide. And there's my camera adjusting for the output. And it is a rated 180 lumens. And that's it. You get single mode. There is no low, there is no strobe, there is no medium, there is nothing except one mode. Click the recess tail cap, you get on. Click it again, you get off. That's it. Single mode. But you know what? That's what I wanted. I wanted a nice basic single mode flashlight that I could put into my two-person Stealth Angel pack. And keep in mind, it is a two-person pack. So I know I'm going to have a flashlight on me. I'm going to have at least a couple of flashlights on me. And if I'm trying to get out of Dodge with that two-person pack, chances are the person... I'm leaving with is not going to have a flashlight on them. So I can pull this out of my two-person pack, hand it to them, and be like, hey, here's how it works. Push the bezel against the light for flood, pull it out a bit for throw. There's your on-off button, single mode. Nice, simple, easy to teach. Uh, here's the first problem, though. This is the flood setting. If you want throw, that's the throw setting. That is an incredibly short amount of travel. I've owned coast lights before. I've owned lead lenser, and yes, there is a reason why this coast light looks pretty much exactly like a lead lenser or LED lenser. Coast is basically their budget version. Good quality, but built to a price point. And on most of these such lights, there is more travel back and forth than just that. But on this one, it's incredibly short. Now, it's not too loose. There's a little bit of resistance, but not much. There is a little bit, though. So, yeah, that's flood, that's throw. Let's take a look at the throw, and, yep. You can see a difference. Throw, flood. Throw. Definite hot spot. And I have to admit, the throw setting is a lot more useful on this little guy. I just wish the travel wasn't so short. But, okay, it is what it is. Further up, we have the barrel or body of the light. Now, these rather aggressive-looking checkering, uh, it actually is somewhat aggressive. This is not there for show. You got one flat that says Coast HX5 and another flat that's blank. So I guess if you wanted to, you could have this flashlight engraved. I guess, but the checkering that looks somewhat aggressive actually is somewhat aggressive. That is very nice. 
further up, we have a two-way clip. Now, when I say a two-way clip, I mean this goes in your pocket, bezel down, but not bezel up. This other position, that's for a trucker's hat or baseball cap. Put that through, and now you have an improvised headlamp. And unlike a lot of other flashlights that have a two-way clip and are ridiculously long and ridiculously heavy, this one makes sense. This will actually fit onto the bill of a baseball cap or trucker's cap and let you use this as an improvised headlamp. It's light enough and it's short enough in length. There is one issue with the clip though. Even though it's not uncomfortable in the hand, take a look at that. See that? It's a wraparound clip, but there's no groove. It doesn't actually fit into any sort of groove. So yeah, that's one issue. This clip can slide off a lot easier than other types of wraparound clips because pretty much nowadays everyone cuts a groove into their flashlight where the clip fits onto, not coast. You have no groove, so this is not exactly the most secure clip. It just wraps around without a groove. Not good. Further up, a little bit of red styling. You unscrew the tail cap in order to access the battery. And two issues. One very minor one. This area here, as you can see, is very smooth. The clip, when this is in your pocket, it's, I guess you could call that low profile, but mm, not really. I wouldn't, although it's not too bad. Here you have a lanyard hole that is pretty much worthless. <laughs> Good luck getting a lanyard of any kind through that. And the light does not come with a lanyard, does not come with spare O-rings, Keep in mind, Coast is not a made-in-China official brand. Literally, all you get is the light with the clip attached, instructions, one battery, and silica gel. That's it. Uh, no lanyard, no O-rings, nope. So this is rather smooth. But the bigger issue is the threads. Oh, my goodness, they are horribly gritty. Horribly. Yeah, they are horribly gritty. If this is going to be your EDC light, yeah, just keep in mind that the threads are not smooth at all. No, no. And here we have the rubberized boot. Now, as you can see, it's flush with the tail cap. All the sides of the tail cap come up and surround the sides of the rubber boot. And, um, yeah, here's the um, little secret that I mentioned in the topic title. It doesn't look like one, and you'd be forgiven for thinking it's not one. This is actually the closest thing to a double-A base tactical light I have ever found. And I mean an actual tactical double-A based light. Not that BS you hear from numerous makers. Oh, we have a tactical mode. No, you don't. 
And just because you call it a tactical mode does not make your EDC light into a tactical light. Hell no. This is the absolute closest thing to a double-A based tactical light that you will find out there. And this is coming from someone who owns hundreds, possibly thousands, I stopped counting years ago, hundreds, possibly thousands of flashlights. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing, fellas. See that um, lovely reverse clicky tail cap switch? Yeah, that's not a reverse clicky. Generally, with this hobby, you get what you pay for. You know what you're getting. Sometimes you get disappointed. This is one of those extremely rare times that I got a surprise when it came to my flashlight purchase, and it was a positive one. Because that right there forward clicky tail cap switch. And because the switch mechanism is very soft, that switch underneath that boot is very soft and the sides come all the way up to surround it, that means that when you grab this flashlight, and you place the pad of your thumb right against that button, it switches on. And no matter how hard you press with the pad of your thumb, you are never going to click this flashlight on. That means that when your thumb comes off that switch, the flashlight switches off. This thing is the closest thing to a double-A-based tactical light that is out there. A genuine tactical light. Because with everything combined, this becomes a momentary switch. That's right. Pad of your thumb. There it goes. I'm pushing pushing. It's not clicking on. It's behaving like a tactical light, because guess what? It secretly is one. You have to make a very determined push in order to click it on. Now, some of you might be saying, hold on. It's only 180 lumens. And you got to be careful that you're in the throw setting, not the flood setting. Fair enough. However, this flashlight is dual fuel. So besides a single AA battery, what else does it run on? That's right. A 14500 lithium-ion battery. And when you got one of these bad boys in there, what do you get? Well, let's consult the box. You get 410 lumens. That's right, 410 lumens with a beam distance of 132 meters instead of, with an alkaline, 180 lumens and 89 meters of throw. Now, the run times are obviously different. With an alkaline battery, it's three hours. With a 14500, it's going to be one hour. And as usual, guys, specs in the description box below. Check that out when the video is over. But yeah, I've tested this. Now, ironically, 180 lumens versus 410, you are going to see a difference. Does it look huge? No. 
but you are definitely going to tell that there is a difference in terms of brightness, especially with the throw setting. A little bit less with the flood, but with the throw setting, you will see an absolute difference. So, 14500 battery, 410 lumens, actual momentary function with the tail cap switch. Double A based. And Coast doesn't even advertise it as a tactical light. Talk about a missed opportunity. Yep, this little guy is the closest thing, the real thing, to a tactical light. That's its secret. I mean... All is not exactly good because, oh, those gritty threads. Yeah, there is. And, yeah, that's the battery you get, Coast branded. Yeah, there is a lot of room in this battery tube. Keep in mind... A AA battery and a 14500, same size. So why is there so much slop and room inside the battery tube? I don't know. But, oh, springs on both ends. On the tail cap end and down here as well. Definite plus. So, yeah. There you go, guys. Do I recommend this? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Um, very minor issues, the ones that do exist, they definitely don't detract from what you get. And this is an absolutely fantastic little single AA LED flashlight. That gives you both flood and throw. It's not going to break the bank. Yeah, a couple of minor issues, but this is a really good EDC flashlight. And surprisingly, quite good for what it is as a tactical light. Yep. Yep. And Coast doesn't even market it as a tactical light. Oh, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please continue to stay safe out there. Yeah, it's still dangerous. Take care.